In this example, we will be finding the square root of 108. In order to evaluate the square root of 108, we first need to review an important math rule, which is the square root of a times b will be equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning if we have two values multiplied by each other inside of a square root, such as a times b, we can then separate out those square roots so that we get the square root of a times the square root of b. Now we can apply this to the square root of 108 by first looking at factors of 108. While there are many factors of 108, I will choose to use 3 and 36. The reason I chose 3 and 36 is because 36 is a perfect square. This will help us in the future to simplify. Now let's rewrite the square root of 108 as a square root of 3 times 36. We can now use our math rule and split up the square root of 3 times 36 into the square root of 3 times the square root of 36. Because 6 times 6 equals 36, the square root of 36 is 6. Now we can write the square root of 108 equal to the square root of 3 times 6, or 6 root 3. This is our simplified version of the square root of 108. However, we can also look at estimating the square root of 108 to the nearest whole number by looking at perfect squares nearby. If we look at 10 squared, we get 100. And similarly, if we look at 11 squared, we get 121. As you can see, 108 is between 100 and 121. Therefore, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 100 is less than the square root of 108, which is less than the square root of 121. Because 10 squared equals 100, we can rewrite the square root of 100 as 10, and we can also rewrite the square root of 121 as 11, because 11 squared equals 121. Now we can see that the square root of 108 is between 10 and 11. In order to find the integer that 108 is closest to, we can look at the difference between 108 and the two perfect squares. By subtracting. So we'll do 108 minus 100 to get 8, and then 121 minus 108 to get 13. As you can see, because 8 is less than 13, 108 is closer to 100, and therefore the square root of 108 is closer to 10. Now we can approximate the square root of 108 as about 10.